Right guys, today let's talk about the next big flex within the Apple ecosystem and this could be a bigger flex than even the $1,000 Pro Stand and that is a $3,000 VR headset. Yes, I said $3,000, that's absolutely insane but anyways, let's talk about the feature set, the possible design and other things about Apple's upcoming VR headset that's clearly for them rich boys out there. Anyways, make sure to like and subscribe, click that notification for the latest Apple news and rumors, and with that being said, let's just tuck in. So this information comes from the information, that's literally the name of the source, but thankfully they are pretty accurate with their information because they have an accuracy of 90.9%. So clearly, they're one of the top dogs out there. So a little bit of background info, Apple is big on AR and VR, they think it's a future and that is understandable because I agree, AR is by far the future of technology and of course something that's been in the works for quite a long time is Apple Glass. Now in case you're wondering, Apple Glass is something completely different from what's being rumoured. So Apple Glass will essentially look like a regular pair of glasses, but will have AR functionality, whereas this seems to be more in line with, of course, the Microsoft HoloLens or the Oculus Rift in terms of an actual headset you put on and use at home with, of course, VR and AR capabilities. Anyways, diving right in, let's talk about the design. So the information has sources within Apple's internal team currently testing some late stage prototypes of this product and they have a visual render of what exactly we could expect in terms of design. And essentially it looks like a pair of ski goggles with some Apple Watch bands strapped on top of it. So yeah, the design is pretty interesting. But I'll be honest, as much as I do feel quite mixed on the design, it does feel very Apple-esque. For one, there are key design cues from other products. For example, we have the band that is very similar to the Apple Watch strap as I mentioned, but also does have a slight resemblance to the AirPods Max and their band too. We also see a Hesh material at the front, which is very similar to what they use on the AirPods Max. And so clearly Apple's prioritizing keeping the weight to a minimum and comfort to a maximum. So again, this is all very Apple-esque though. I'm not sure about silicon being used for this band, much like the sport band, because I feel like that won't age that well on a headset. And so I'm hoping it is a different material with the end product. Anyways, design aside, Let's talk about the specs because this is actually some pretty impressive stuff. So apparently there's going to be more than 12 cameras on this device to track hand movements and along with this, two 8K displays for ultra resolution. This is going to be absolutely amazing. Oh, and if that wasn't enough, we also have eye tracking on this and so yeah, you could potentially control this using your hands and your eyes which is pretty sick. Now in terms of how it works, it essentially uses the 12 plus cameras to get video of the real world and then through the Vizen display, it creates a mixed reality effect. So you have combinations of the real world and of course the virtual world. And so you get the ultimate augmented experience. Now the information does mention the headband we saw could be swappable. So much like the Apple Watch and much like we saw with the ear cups on the AirPods Max, there could be a level of customization. So you could possibly choose the color or more interestingly, you could have headbands that offer additional capabilities. For example, they mention a headband that could provide extra battery life on the go or possibly a headband that could have spatial audio. Now, the spatial audio stuff gets me really tingling because imagine having a headband that could offer the capabilities of AirPods Max in terms of computational audio and then combine that with the VR capabilities of this headset and you have a truly magical combo for watching, I don't know, TikTok, I guess? I'm kidding, by the way. I hope that most of you don't want to watch TikTok in VR, but anyways, we can watch TV shows and movies and it'll be an immersive experience that no other piece of technology could replicate. Now, of course, the information gives us more information on how exactly you would be able to control this VR headset. 
So as I mentioned, we obviously will have eye tracking and hand gesturing, though of course, the issue with both those technologies is that they can be pretty finicky to use. And so apparently Apple is working on a thimble-like device to be worn on a person's finger. Now this is a thimble and it's a very odd looking thing. So what I think will be the final version of this tech is possibly some sort of ring you have on your finger that could control this VR headset. Now there is also mention of a physical dial on some prototypes of this VR headset. And in fact, we see something that resembles this in the drawings they showcase. And so it is plausible that maybe Apple just sticks to the digital crown we have on the watch and they bring it over to this headset too, much like they did with the AirPods Max. And I feel like this would be more precise and better to use overall than relying on gestures or some sort of ring that attaches on your finger. In terms of the chip, Mark Gurman tells us that apparently this could include more advanced and powerful chips than even the Apple Silicon chips we could be seeing in some future Macs. Now for reference, we've heard Apple's most powerful Mac chips could include up to 32 power cores and up to 128 GPU cores. So anything above that is gonna be wild and I can't wait to possibly even do Geekbench scores in VR. That would be pretty awesome. So yes, I'm pretty hyped to see the scores this could possibly achieve. Actually, Mark Gurman mentions a pretty interesting thing, and that is this chip could be so powerful, this headset might need a fan. So yeah, I'm not sure about that because it wouldn't be that nice having a fan just whirling around in your head as you're wearing and using this. So I'm hoping that Apple could make the chip more efficient and make it fanless, but we'll have to wait and see. Now, another question some of you might have is, what if you're blind, like myself, how can you use this headset? Well, unfortunately, you can't use the headset on top of your regular glasses, so you have to buy prescription lenses separately for your $3,000 VR headset. So, yeah, that's going to be pretty expensive, but I guess if you're super rich to afford it in the first place, I'm sure you can afford the lenses as well. Right, we come to the bad news, I guess, because obviously all this cool technology comes at a price and a pretty hefty price at that. So yes, apparently Apple is internally discussing the headset will start around $3,000. That's insane. But at the same time, I do want to say that this really isn't for us regular folks. This is more for developers to make AR VR apps, but also people in certain industries that rely on this technology. And so pretty much their only competitor in that regard would be, of course, Microsoft's HoloLens, which is around $3,500. And so you are getting slightly better value with the Apple VR headset. In fact, I'm going to say it's way better value because, for example, the HoloLens sticks to a 2K display, which is respectable, but obviously is no match for the dual 8K displays we could have on Apple's VR headset. Now, apparently Apple is only expecting to ship 250,000 units and possibly only sell one per day, which is very similar to the Mac Pro. In fact, Mark Gurman mentions this would be the Mac Pro of the VR world, and that makes a lot of sense because clearly this is gonna be way more expensive than we thought. And finally, if you are willing to spend $3,000, you can buy these as soon as next year. Early 2022 is the release date apparently, so I can see maybe Apple unveiling these as soon as this year and then possibly releasing it to the public in early 2022. In fact, the information mentions the render they have is of a late stage prototype, so clearly they are at the end of the development stage and this was at the end of 2020 apparently, so we're into 2021 and so I think it is time that Apple could unveil this to the public. Now don't worry if of course you can't justify paying this much for some pretty cool tech because we should see some of these elements come down to the Apple Glass which has been apparently pushed to 2023 but the hope is that of course Apple Glass because they don't pack as much technology and they don't have any VR capabilities and instead rely on AR they should be considerably cheaper and more accessible but of course what Apple learns from this VR headset and what they learn from the launch and of course the apps available, they can bring that to the Apple Glass project 
and refined that from the get-go. So ultimately, first generation pair of Apple glasses won't be too bad. At least that's what we hope for, but we'll have to wait and see. But tell me in the comments below, are you interested in buying an AR or VR headset from Apple? And are you interested in buying Apple Glass in the near future? Personally, I'm all in, obviously, as someone who wears glasses 24 seven, I would love to have Apple Glass on my face and let Timothy track me 24 seven. That is the dream. So yes, I am very excited to see what Apple brings to the table. Anyways, thank you for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. Click that notification for the latest Apple news and rumors. Check out a video here in the icon above about the March event happening real soon. And on that note, I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya, peeps.